Hello there, James here, welcome to another video. Today I've got something special for you. I've decided to clear the decks and lay out all five ships of my Wanda 350 scale model aircraft carrier fleet. So we've got five ships to show you today. Hopefully you can see them all in the shot here. Um, we'll give you a quick rundown and uh, what's what and where you can buy them if you're so interested. So this is the USS Wasp. It's a Wasp class amphibious attack ship. Um, used by the United States Marines. I originally bought this kit back off someone on eBay late last year. This kit costs about sort of 150, 175 pounds here in the UK, so they're really, really expensive. So I've had a buy out and a safe search on eBay for many, many moons, and I was delighted to be able to get this kit for a really, really good price. Um, so this is the way the kit came in. These aircraft you see in front of you are ones that I'm currently working on at the moment. So I've decided to do the bit that I hate the most at the start. So that's paint all of the uh, small aircraft. So they're coming along nicely. And then I can get on to the bit that I really enjoy, which is actually building the ship itself. So the keen eye amongst you may have noticed I've already cut the bottom off. So I'm going to make a waterline diorama of the Wasp here with all of the assorted air wing, the aircraft, the Wasp, the super stallions, Cobras, Harriers, maybe even a few F-35s uh, flying along as well as the LCAC um, hovercraft and the assorted assault ships and um, a bit of a diorama scene so hopefully that'll come along. I've got some uh, photo etch parts to put on it for the kit as well so we've got two sets to go on there so basically really looking forward to that. I've only just started the wing but you can see it's already coming along quite nicely. And here you have a sort of overall comparison of how big this is compared to some of the uh, bigger and older and even newer ships in the class and the series of aircraft carriers. Next up we have the USS Intrepid, originally just finished this kit. This is a Essex class carrier built by Gallery Models, so it's an amazing kit. It's got lots of photo etch parts included. It's got some amazing details, lots of lovely planes. I did bolter the air wing with a few more Corsair, as you can see at the back here. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic kit. Really, really enjoy building this, and it looks really, really impressive. It's quite a uh, spectacular thing considering this was a Second World War carrier initially, and eventually got a upgrade to become an angled deck carrier that you can see here. So you can start to see the design lineage between an Essex-class Second World War, which eventually got upgraded, over to a modern supercarrier. So this is the USS Enterprise. This is the first carrier kit I built. This old monster is about eight years old now, since I finished it. Looking a little bit dusty, I have to say. I might need to clean up some of the, uh, the flight deck here. But it's an absolute monster. It's about a meter long. Um, lots of photo etch parts. This is the bad boy that took me about four years on and off to finish. A little bit daunted, but I really, really quite fancy doing this again, to be honest with you. Next to that, we have the work in progress Nimitz class. So all of the lovely interior details will be lit up inside. They're including lots of um, extra bits I've made by scratch. So this sponsor here is entirely made by hand using uh, styrene sheet and a few extra details here and there but yeah long way to go on that lots of planes to do obviously and then build up the island light up the hangar deck and it's going to look really really impressive so this is going to be a water line as well and as you can see it's a lot lower on the table than the Enterprise and then lastly this is the now sadly decommissioned and being turned slowly into razor blades this is the HMS Illustrious this is an airfix kit, which includes lots of detail. I really went to town on this in terms of sort of having to make a few bits of my own because at the time there seemed to be a worldwide shortage of photo etch parts that didn't cost about £100 each. So I decided to make my own netting, as you can see here. From far away, it looks alright. Up close, mm, questionable. But really, really pleased the way it came out. Lots of hair, as you can see here, and Sea Kings and so forth. And a few bit of a little bit of flybys using uh, the tops of plastic containers to show the rotors off. So there we have it, that's all of my carrier kits in terms of one of 350 scale in the collection. Really pleased with the way that they've all turned out and um, yeah very very pleased with them um, having them in my collection. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, please uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't already and new to the channel, please consider subscribing. 
I'm a massive geek in terms of uh, one of the 350 scale ship kits, so uh, watch out for this. The Wasp is the next kit I'm building. This got a few bits and bobs to finish on an Airfix Spitfire, but I'm doing some of the planes in the background while the Spitfire is drying. And then we'll crack on with the Wasp, and that'll be the next big build series. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.